Hi Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, and welcome to your tarot love messages. Here today, we're going to take a look at and see whether your person here has moved on. So, um, has your ex moved on from you? Has the person that you were, you know, romantically connected with, even if you were just loosely involved with this person, or even if you just had some sort of situation ship with this person? Have they moved on, or are they still stuck on you, or is there still hope here for the two of you? These are general messages, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So we'll give the cards a shuffle and we'll see whether or not your person here has moved on. Okay, I'm just going to straighten this out, but you've got the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups here. Okay, Aces are all about beginnings, new beginnings. Um, Ace of Cups in particular is about renewal and it's an emotional awakening of some sort. I feel like your person is going through a lot. Um, I definitely feel like your person um, has been going through a lot of changes here since the two of you have left or the two of you have gone separate ways here. Um, to an extent, yes, they're still invested here. How? Um, maybe they're still, the two of you are so, sort of bonded by the fact um, that the two of you might have had um, a marriage together. Okay, some of you feel like you might have been engaged you were, um, or you were married to this person. You might have even had children here with this person um, or you might have had, you know, a, a, even a business together because I feel like there's something here that ties it, that ties the two of you together and I'm seeing that there is some sort of financial costs involved here for some of you involved in the separation or in the divorce or in just in the, you know, the going of separate ways here. So the two of you are still somehow connected is what I'm seeing. That's for some of you. That's not for all of you. Um, you want to know if they've moved on here. For some of you, I feel like your person is maybe hoping that there is um, a possible that you might be giving them a second chance one day. There is, they're hoping for some sort of reconciliation or a reunion or like even a second chance. That they're hoping that you might potentially forgive them or you might potentially reconsider certain things here about the relationship, like reconsider moving on, reconsider moving out, or reconsider, you know, um, leaving this person behind. I feel like they're hoping that the two of you might rediscover what was once lost in the relationship. Your person has had, your person has a lot of, despite, you know, them being really emotionally overwhelmed right now, um, they do come across as the high priestess. And the high priestess is someone, she's got this icy exterior, but she is someone who's deeply emotional and deeply intuitive, okay? Um, they may come across as though they're a little bit cold or a little bit um, distant or like they're not really emotionally affected by all of this, but inside they are. Inside they're an emotional wreck. They just have a really um, great way of not showing it, okay? They, they're they very put together on the outside, but on the inside there is a lot that's going on with them emotionally, but I do feel like your person is trying to process these emotions, is trying to work through everything that's going on here. I can see that they're still wanting to fight for this connection with the Seven of Wands, or I can see that there is something here that they feel like they have to defend. So I, it could be that there are certain connecting energies which are opposing your connection, okay? So there are certain people in their E um, that might tell you, you know, um, they might be telling them to leave you, you know, there are others out there, you know, there are, there are a lot of fish in the sea kind of thing, um, but your person is trying to defend what the two of you had, or is trying to defend what they still feel for you to these people, okay, so they're like, they're trying to fight off any opposing energies here, so, which tells me that they're still in it, guys, they're still very much connected. Four of Wands, I feel like there is possibility for some sort of homecoming, it's like a very homecoming kind of energy so I feel like the two of you might be coming back together on some level um, and that's interesting because for some of you I feel like maybe you're going to try and want to work because you know for the sake of your children or you're going to try and want to you know come back together for the sake of the, the, the two of you you know the fact that the two of you have this business or this partnership going because I feel like it's almost like there's something here that you want to hold on to and you're going to try and make it work, okay? For others of you, it's because you know, 
you know you still love them and they still love you and you're gonna want to um, you're gonna want to try and figure some things out the chariot tells me that your person here some of you you're doing long distance okay so for some of you the fact that you're you know on two complete different sides of the world um, has sort of driven um, the two of you apart but I can see that it's very likely that your person is so you know not willing to give up this connection just yet that I feel like for some of you you'll be seeing this person soon it's like um, you'll be meeting this person face to face so if they're in a different country it's very likely the two of you um, will be seeing each other in real life here and I see you embracing one another for others of you you know if this person is in a different city or state I'm seeing that this person is coming out to visit you the chariot tells me that, and especially um, the fact that it's about the Ace of Cups, tells me that in a way I feel like they're a little bit emotionally rattled. So the fact that the two of you aren't talking or, you know, you guys are, have split or you guys have separated tells me that it's sort of, they might have taken you for granted at one point, but I feel like given what's happened, it's made them realize that, you know, um, what they're missing out on and what they lose when they, you know, and what they stand to lose if you were to walk away completely. I feel like they've got more perspective or they've got more clarity here is what I'm seeing, especially during this period of separation, during this period of distance and silence. Um, I see that your person, I feel like they see things a lot more clearly than they did before. Though with the High Priestess, the outcome of this connection feels very much undecided just yet. So I feel like there's a lot up in the air because I feel like there is a possibility for reconciliation and there is a possibility for a reunion. For a lot of you, there's a possibility to rediscover yourselves and rediscover the love, the passion, the romance that you once had. So there is possibility for that. But just because there is a possibility doesn't mean that it's going to be taken advantage of. So it's really up to you whether the two of you are willing to fight for this connection and whether the two of you are willing to sort of um, you know fight off any opposing influences because for some of you I can see that maybe you know there's your family members or friends who oppose oppose that you get back with them or oppose that they get back with you um, but if you can fight these you know um, people off and you can if you can try and not be influenced or not allow your opinions and your emotions to be diluted by theirs then I feel like this relationship really stands a chance but with the high priestess a lot of the times, um, you know, it's when she shows up in a spread because she's all about mystery here. The outcome is unknown at this stage. Okay. Because for me, because it's, there's so much just up in the air with this connection. There's just, it could go this way or it could go that way. And notice how with the charity, you've got the sphinxes and they face off in two very different directions. So I feel like it can go any which way. It really can go any which way. It just all depends on you know, where the two of you are at emotionally and whether or not you're really in sync with one another. But I feel like your person does want to ask for forgiveness or they want to seek forgiveness here. I feel like your person does want to reach out and open up to you emotionally here. And I feel like they have been going through a lot of things emotionally. They've just been hiding it very well. I don't feel like that your person is fully moved on from you. Um, because I feel like they're still holding on. Um, it could be... 50 50 as well maybe a part of them feels like if they absolutely have to move on without you then they're sort of trying to mentally prepare themselves for that and i feel like they've got this very independent energy to them and i feel like they'll be fine here yeah it will be hard it will be tough but i feel like they'll be fine um but then again a part of them is you know a part, a part of them is still in and a part of them is still fighting for this connection so there you have it guys. Um, thank you as always for watching and for listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing or commenting. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages so stay tuned. Thanks guys again. Bye for now.